never had so much fun with a group of kids because, you know, you, you, we, we don't have to break their stones about nothing. 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 They're good kids. They know what they got to do. They come out here and they do it. Well, it's just fun. It really is fun. Milford's a beautiful town to grow up in. It's a lot of fun to grow up in. Nice little beach town to spend most of the summer on the beach. Loves to go to the beach during the summer. Well, the nickname for Milford is like a small city with a big heart. I mean, it is a small city, but it's very populated. There's a lot of good people here. You know, lobbying across town. We always have fun picking on each other throughout the year. And then coming up to the game, it's always fun. Being in a small school is good because I like we're, we're a lot closer as a community. We're, it's not a half an hour drive to go see our friends. You just get on your bike when you were younger and go see them. I think it's how they bring the kids together. Um, they don't really separate by classes because sometimes some schools, you're in different classes, you don't get to see your friends many times, but they have a lot of activities where you get to see people that you don't usually get to see, who are your friends or people that you've met before, and you really get to introduce yourself to new people. Five minutes here, there, meet up. It's We get closer as a team and as a school in general. We're just better. We're better than uh, most of the high schools, you know, com like compared to law. So that's why we always beat them. Monday through Wednesday, we're pretty much grinding out here. We um, we don't take it easy. We uh, we're just working on to uh, beat the team. We take one step at a time. Wednesday, we got to get everything down. We're getting after it. We're 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 smashing each other around. We're bleeding. We're we're swearing. We're uh, coaches are yelling. Everybody's just all in. Uh, we try to keep the atmosphere really loose. So it's like practice isn't, you don't like come down, you hate having practice, like you don't want to make it feel like a job, but you want it to be like a fun hobby, like just be around your friends, have a good time. But we work hard. We always like get on each other, make sure we're working hard. These Thursday practices are more of a less running and physical aspect, but more of the mental aspect of the game. A huddle before a game is pretty nuts. Uh, the captains always try to pump us up really by, you know, just saying how we're lions and everything. We don't really need to like tell each other what we're doing. Everyone knows their responsibility. Yeah, baby, good kick. We just Get come out here, we're gonna have fun, we know that. With all this enthusiasm, it makes you really wanna train harder and be there for your team. It's always fun being home, being around your hometown boys, the kids you grew up with all your life. That, that's what really brings us together. But then even, I think it's really the coaches. I really enjoy. Our coaches are really like, um, bring us all together with our pasta parties every Thursday. Um, all the fundraisers we do, we're just, we're like, we know all the families. The coaches have a want to, to win, but also a want to make us a family. I think it's how we unite ourselves together. Um, one of our coaches, Coach Bovino, great guy, one of his most enthusiastic terms is, we're, we're just one big heart. It's all one big team. Everybody's got to have each other's backs. If one guy doesn't have the other person's back, then the whole thing's going to fall apart. You got to be there for your teammate. You got to know that by each snap, he's going to have your back no matter what, no matter how tired they are. That's, I feel like, the really important thing about this team is, is we never give up. I learned from this team, and especially from the coaches, is the desire and the want to to not only win but get better. You don't want to just be a, you could. I don't want to be a guy with that could win without character. The team really taught me throughout the years is that you know you just can't really quit on yourself. You have to have confidence. 
At the end of the year, every year, we uh, have a bury the ball ceremony where we all sign the names on the ball. Burying the ball ceremony is always really, uh, it's sad saying goodbye to the seniors. This year it's going to be sad too because it's all my boys. Like People like from past years will come and like watch and stuff. It's really emotional. <laughs> and it's hard to know that you're going to be there someday and you're going to have to leave this team because this is a really great environment. And it's something that most people won't be able to experience in their whole entire lives and I feel really blessed and lucky. One, two, three! Line, line. Woo.